So yeah, this is just a tutorial to show how I rigged up the baby's face. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. The only thing that was weird was the eyes, because we don't have normal eyes. So we have to do something unique for those, uh, especially for like eyelids, because with the face rig it requires there to be eyelids somewhere. Um, so we kind of had to fake it and then delete it. So yeah, uh, basically once you have the body rigged up um, from Advanced Skeleton, you go down to this face tab. And then we'll choose just first the mask. So let me actually hide the constraints. Go into this mode. Just go right view. And then get the mask. So that's just going to be like, what's the, where's the face being? Probably about that much is good for it. So I'll click that. We've got that set. You'll see these two kind of things appear up and above, or above and below. Um, and then we'll select the face. So that's just the head geo. And then all head is anything on the face. So anything under here in the mouth group, as well as the eyebrows, eyes, just all of that. Ooh. Gotcha. So it does need to be skinned to the skeleton. Um, it will be searching for the skin cluster, so we'll make sure to get that. Uh, da -da. Skin. Constrain. Oop. Skin. Find skin. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, we can stay in rigging. Hide those joints again, and we'll do that one more time. Select all these and do all head. Now it works. Cool. Alright, then we choose the right eye, left eye, upper teeth. So we have gum upper and teeth upper, so those will be the upper teeth. Then gum lower and teeth lower will be the lower teeth. We have the tongue, the eyebrows. Uh, we don't have eyelashes, so we're good there. Extras, we're good. So now we should be all good. Um, let's go ahead and we'll leave it just as a joint rig. Um, it uses joints and blend shapes, um, but it's a, we're just going to stick with joints. Um, and then, no selection needed, eyeball. Alright, so for the eyeball, you click this button, and it'll give you like this eyeball to place. You can also scale it to better fit. We won't really be using the eyeballs, but you have to have this set up. Um, then we need eyelid outer. So if you click this, you can see where it should go. This would be like if our character had eyelids. Obviously, with our kind of cartoony art style, our character does not have eyelids. So um, we just kind of, we have to place stuff, and it'll work like it's there. Um, and then we'll just delete it later. Um, just so that way, um, Advanced Skeleton doesn't lock up on us, because it requires that these loops be placed. So yeah, we'll just say this is outer eyelid, we'll go in one, say this is inner, or eyelid main, yeah, so this is not really accurate at all, it's just temp stuff to, to appease the system. <laughs> Alright, and then next, lip outer. So these ones do need to be accurate. Um, so this is just that edge loop. So I'll go ahead and select it here. Mm, probably one up. Yeah, that looks more accurate. right on the inside, so I'm going to zoom in for this. I'll just get that edge loop, let me make sure. Yep, it's a loop. So got that, that'll be our main. And then we need lip inner. And there's this assist button to make your life easier after you've placed those two. <laughs> Looks kind of silly, but 
that'll be that right there. So then we can do lip inner, and boom, now it's got the lips understood. So then we have the eyebrow, and these are just vertices that we select. So we'll do eyebrow inner, which will be this, eyebrow outer, and eyebrow center. Alright, then select three vertices, here, here, and here, for the forehead. So I'll get this one, just like there, a couple ways, we'll follow that down, to right about there. I'm going to select that, perfect, that looks good, click that, and it's not the best, but we don't really have to worry too much about that. Uh, and then, let's see jaw pivot, so this will be where the jaw pivots from, select another vertex, jaw pivot, jaw corner down here, and yeah you can select these question marks next to anything um, if you need to see where to place the dot. I'm just gonna go through really fast and Place all these vertexes, vertices. Yep, I added tongue controls, that's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, once you've got that done, you have this option. I don't like to do that one as much. I normally save, um, so like I'd save right now, and then I go through and do the step-by-step -step build. So if anything is broken along the way, I know what it is. Okay, yeah. So um, I ran into an error with the eyes. They were rotated weird, didn't have their history cleared. Um, always clear the history before and clean up your mesh beforehand. I also cleaned up um, some of the locations of these things. Um, but yeah, now we can move on to, let me actually save that. Let's move on to the build stage. So build the head, control box. Yes, there we go, now the eyes are working. So it's building the eyelid. Um, this is actually all of the controls we're going to delete um, because there's no eyelids on this character. Um, but you have to let it do that or else Advanced Skeleton won't um, continue on. Um, it has to go through this stuff. Um, and so we'll just delete it later and get rid of those joints later. All right, yeah, so then we have a finished set. It'll look like this, and you'll see we even have some phonemes that are just automatically set up. Um, and you'll see the only issues that we're really having come from just around the eyes up here. So because our eyes are currently rigged like eyeballs, they're weird. <laughs> they don't move how we want it to. It's also moving this flesh here, which we don't really want. Um, the eyebrows are nice and set up though, so. But we might get rid of the influence they have on the skin underneath, and rather just have the eyebrows kind of slide along, and the skin be a little bit influenced, but not much. 
Um, so to do that, we're going to want to go down to publish. And you're going to want to publish. Um, just click that, and it'll build an MB file with the same name. Uh, I already have that done, so let me go ahead and open that up. So yeah, mine's right here. Let me pop this guy open. And um, this is just, it's imported everything. It doesn't have all the advanced skeleton stuff anymore. Um, it's kind of like a published rig. Um, because we need to go in and undo some of the stuff Advanced Skeleton has done. If we didn't publish it, then Advanced Skeleton would get angry at us. So the first thing would be select these bad boys. Oh, sorry, let me let my ammo load. So yeah, uh, our first thing is we'll just unbind the skin on the eyes. Skin, unbind skin. So now they're just loose probably want to delete the joints first. So let's see. The joints are here under deformation system. They're just hidden right now. Oh Big connection. I'm just gonna make them visible. So you see we've got all these joints driving the face. And we really don't need all these joints. So we can go through and just delete these joints. You can delete them uh, if you also don't want to be as destructive. Um, let me actually see, there's probably a faster way. Yeah, if you don't want to be as destructive, um, you can simply go into the weight painting and just zero all the weights on these. Either way works. I'm going to get rid of these joints though. Boom. And then I'm going to get rid of these controllers. that guy gets rid of that. Um, yeah, so now that we have that, these, oh, let me clear the history on these. There's a quick clear history button right there in the poly modeling space. I'm going to pull these guys just a little bit forward. There we go. Uh, and then delete history, clear freeze transformations. Oh, this guy did not take to it well. Let me make sure the skin's unbound. Yeah, it doesn't have any skin. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with this little guy. Make sure everything here. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I have it fixed in a later model, so we'll just go from there. Um, but yeah, I then cleaned up the skin weights, because right now, uh, if you grab this, it pulls the, all of that up. We don't really want that. Um, I also added some joints here, and then these joints here, and changed the weighting so that it followed that. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and open up that file to show what that looks like. Yeah, so here it is with cleaned up skin weights. So you can see that the brows deform a little bit, not too much on the skin. Um, the cheeks deform a little bit, but not too much. If you get him angry, yeah. You can see that these work a lot better once you clean up the weights around here, because really, this mask part doesn't move. Um, and if the parts that do, don't have to move that much. So really just cleaning up those weights helped out. See, I should have the ears rigged as well. Then the hair should be... Oh, that's something I got to do. But yeah, let's look at the eyes, because that's the, the big thing. We have the eyes, so they slide along the face. Um, and then we also have it so that when this moves, the eyes stay tracking onto this bad boy. Um, let me put that there and show it off again. Yep. So yeah, how to set that up is pretty simple. All right, so to set this up, um, let me go ahead and pull out these joints. I have it being joint driven, so these are just skinned to these joints right now. 
Um, yeah, let me open this up, find these guys. Oh, it's just parented, it's not even skinned. So um, these are just parented under the joints. So if I was to delete those parents, see that the eyes don't move. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and get rid of the constraints on the joints. So you see there's three different constraints on these joints. We have a geometry, normal, and then a parent. So if I get rid of these, and then move this around, you'll see that the joints do not move. So, uh, oh, and another big note is I created these joints just underneath the hip joint rather than the head joint, because if they're under the head joint, as you move the head, those joints would do something weird. So just put them underneath the main hierarchy. You could even leave them separate um, or use locators instead of joints. Um, but yeah, how you get the effect of the joints sliding along the surface is with constraints. We're going to put a geometry constraint on it, and then we're going to put a normal constraint. Then we'll take this and we will put a parent constraint on it. So now as we move this around, the joint wants to stay on the surface of the face. Um, it wants to follow the controller, but also wants to stay on the surface of the face. And so, to finish it off with these eyeballs, uh, we then just parent these eyeballs to the joint. You'll see it moves with it. And that allows us the kind of motion we're looking for. Um, yeah. I'll do it really quickly here again. So we grab the face geo, grab the joint, constrain, geometry, constrain, normal, grab this little locator or controller, grab the joint, constrain, parent. And then we want to have the eye being constrained by parent underneath that. Now when we move these around, oh, I did the parent constraint the wrong way. <laughs> Other way around. Constrain parent, there we go. Now when we move it around, you'll see the eyes stay on the body. So if I hide the joints, it'll be a little easier to see. Yep. And then if you move the head around, they stay in place. And so that's how you set up that eye setup. Um, basically, just follow the normal advanced skeleton, um, like getting the face set up. You'll just have to pretend around the eyes to set up the eyeballs uh, and the blinking controls. And then you'll delete all that, clean up the skin weights, and then set up the surface sliding eye action. You can also set up, um, you know, in one file I set up um, some constraints or just some uh, translation con constraints on this eye controller. Um, so that way it doesn't move too far because his eyes can only really go in one area. Um, and if you do need to push them, then I have these not constrained that way. So you can really push it if you want to, but truthfully his eyes only need to stay within these bounds. Um, and to do that, I just went into the attribute editor. Uh, choo -choo -choo. I believe it's under here. Limit information. And set some translate limits. So that can only translate this far before it'll stop it. It can only translate this far before it'll stop it. And that just helps for clarity for the animators so they don't like send this off in space <laughs> and the eyes are nowhere to be found. Um, or like sliding along a weird part of the head. Yeah, that's basically all I did for the baby. Um, it's a pretty simple um, rigging system to set up and it allows for a lot of phoneme and facial control. It's a lot faster than building all the blend shapes by hand. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped out.